Hello everybody, I am Benjamin Magnus, and today I'm going to be starting my Europa Universalis 4 section of my Roman Empire Paradox Grand Campaign. Huh, that is a mouthful right there. So if you would like, you can go watch the Crusader Kings 2 section of that. I started at the very beginning, 769 I believe the game starts at when I, when I uh, started that that series over there, there's 219 episodes, all of 25 to 30 minutes long. It was a heck of a long series, and I am extremely excited to be starting up the EU4 section of this, because it's going to be exciting. Uh, partially because way over here in the Americas, uh, I was playing with the, with the Aztec, the Sunset Invasion DLC turned on, so there should be a very large Inca and Aztec Empire over here to fight at some point. Uh, so let's get started. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to be... I don't even know if I'm going to be able to unpause the game this episode. There's a lot of stuff to work on here. For starters, we need some rivals. Uh, the Adrissids, obviously. They were my rival at the at the end of the Crusader Kings 2 series. So I was hoping they'd be my rivals over here as well. My in Oh my god, would you look at that? 108. I have a manpower max of 231,000. Uh, prestige is all the way up, legitimacy all the way up. Power projection is actually really low right now, but that's because I haven't really been doing anything. A little bit of provincial unrest, it looks like. Uh, Bedouin, Bedouin patriots, Roman peasants, tw no, nothing, nothing I have to really worry about. The Bedouin patriots, I might have to worry about, but I could probably crush that pretty easily. Uh, let's get some advisors going. I can easily, easily afford three rank threes. That is so awesome. I've never been able to afford one rank three. So we're going to go with uh, level three right here, this guy. And we're going to do, we got a couple level threes to choose from. So morale of navy or global tariffs. So morale of navies is going to be more, you know, it's going to affect me more right now. So we're going to go with that. And admin, uh, production efficiency or stability cost, cost modifier. Or stability cost modifier. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go with production efficiency, actually. Three level threes. Man, I've never. And it, you know, I'm, I'm still at plus 81. Damn it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, I could build earthen ramparts in a couple profits. It's already been built in most of the empire. So it's not a big deal right now. Uh, but we could, but if we wanted to, we don't need to do any building right now. Definitely don't need to do any building right now. National decisions are available. Reestablish the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Let's see, I have to be, well, I got everything. Gain 25%, Jerusalem gains a core on Jerusalem. Okay, Dru release Jerusalem as an independent state. Interesting. So if I wanted to, I could release Jerusalem as an independent state, but I don't think I want to. Form the Italian nation. Country changes to Italy. Nope. No, 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 no. We're staying as the Roman Empire is what we're doing. Roman Empire. Uh, what else is available? Declare statue of restraint of appeals. Found Italian trade company. That's something I definitely want to do. Diplomatic Tech 10. At least one province in the East Asian trade port owned by the Roman Empire. Okay, that wouldn't be too hard. Uh, confirm Thalassocracy. Roman Empire has completed maritime ideas. Okay, that would give me what? One extra merchant. Oh, that's awesome. Merchants are going to be important. Lightship cost. Awesome. Yearly naval tradition up. Diplomatic tech cost. That's awesome. All I would need is maritime ideas to do that. That's good. Keep an eye on that. Uh, the past declaration of indulgence act. That's just tech levels I gotta get to. Have a theologian, have a, have, uh, admin tech. Act of uniformity, admin tech of eight. Missionary strength. Uh, that's not important. Okay, that's okay. Church taxes, have a theologian. Statue of strength. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, let's select a mission. Fortify Segu, form alliance with Russ. Roos, uh, remove. Oh, we could fortify. That's easy. Segu. Where's Segu? Well, it's got to be one of the ones I can build Build this in. So let's look. There, there it is. <laughs> Alright, there's that. That'll be easy. Should I... I don't want to establish that, so let's take that off. Uh, 
That's no big deal. Defender of the, I can become Defender of the Faith. Faith to enforce religious unity. This will cost 500 gold after 24 months, country with more prestige. Nobody's going to have more prestige. I get an extra missionary, morale of armies, morale of navies, monthly war exhaustion goes down, yearly prestige goes up, tech cost goes up, which I'm not a fan of, papal influence goes up. Uh, 5% is not that big when you're... I should be. I'll go to tech. Yeah, I'm western. So 5%? Is it worth it? Be the defender of the faith? Missionaries, morale. Oh, that morale is great. I feel like I should be defender the, the defender of the faith. Yeah, I feel like that's a good idea. And hire a free military leader. I can only have one. I like how I can only have one military leader for how many men do I have? 342 units that I have right now. Wow, I do not need that many men. Well, uh, I feel like right now the the areas that I'm going to be focusing on, the Drissids in India, obviously. I'm going to work my way that way. So the majority is going to be over here. Probably going to do a little bit in Africa here and here. So I need an army or two over here and over here. But I don't think I need nearly this many men. So let's see. Let's grab... Let's grab these guys and move them down here. Let's grab the, everybody in Spain and move them over here. Uh, oh, um, I thought I could just walk straight across there. I guess not. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh my God, so many men. And there's nobody over here where I actually want them. So, what I'm going to need to do, let's grab these guys and move them over here. Ninety-nine. Look at that right there. Ninety-nine. <laughs> Legio one Hercule... Uh, Herculea. So the first... Hercules' first division. Oh, they all say Legio. I love that. It's a shame I'm going to have to disband so many of them. Well, the one these ones just say army. Like, I don't need that many men in 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 these places. Well, I guess. Like, I love having the ones that say legio, and so many of them do. Oh my god, they almost all do. Well, we could do we could do this. The ones that just say army and don't have the legion names. Let's get rid of those ones. Fourteenth army, sixteenth army. Like, I really, I seriously do not need this many men. 32nd army. Claudia, Primogenia, Macedonia. The liberators from Macedon. Um, Primogenia, what does that mean? First? Prima, uh, let's see. Uh, Prima, best, uh, well, Optimus means best. I'm not sure, I'll have to, I'll have to look at that. Well, a lot of these people are going to get merged together, so I guess in the end it doesn't really matter, now, does it? For start, as much as I love that name, I do not need this group of 99,000 men right here. So let's disband that one right there. Do not need them. And what I can also do is drag this down a little bit. Inflation is going up, actually, by a little bit. We do have some gold. We have a we have decent income from gold. What kind of government do I have? Uh, Empire. The highest government rank, the King of Kings, used for a large, sprawling group of states that united and ruled by a single individual. Okay. Um, that gives me morale of armies of 10%, income from vassals of 20%, monthly autonomy which I have mi minus 10%. Oh my god, I just noticed my country modifiers. Conquest of Jerusalem, missionaries and yearly, yearly prestige. Occupation of Rome, that's not a good thing. The Pope doesn't like me for occupying Rome, but that's my capital. Not going to get rid of it. Trading in grain, land force limit. Trading in wine, stability cost modifier. Nice. So you only need to control 20% of a, of, a, of, a, of a good, I guess. Hmm, interesting. I, did not, I actually didn't know what the percentage was before. Ship cost modifier for trading in wool, trading in cloth. 
Trading in fish, national unrest, very nice. Trading in salt. Land maintenance modifier, very nice. Uh, naval supplies, naval force limit modifier. Trading in copper, recruitment time, trading in iron, regiment cost. Trading in slaves, global tariffs. Trading in sugar, cost of reducing war exhaustion. And trading in silk, accepted culture threshold. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Technology can't, uh, the, no, I can't really do too much about, you know, technology. Although, look, oh my god. Look at all those universities I control. Holy hell. Wow. So I guess that 5% really didn't that make that much of a difference when I'm knocking it down like that. And we do have an, oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I'm, well, I can't pick that. I thought I could pick one right now. Uh, no, I guess I have to get to the next tech level. Yep, uh, next tech level. My bad. My bad. Uh, what are our Roman ideas? Roman tradition gives us discipline, 5%, year legitimacy, 1%, national manpower modifier, 33%. Uh, yep, that's pretty cool. And Pox Roman, national unrest, diplomatic relations, stability cost modifier, nice. Land force limit modifier and infantry combat ability. Production efficiency. National Tax Modifier, and Core Creation Cost. Oh, these things are awesome. Oh, that's so cool. All this Roman stuff is awesome. Right now we have Religious Unity of 99%, and there are some... We have one Heretic and a couple Sunni provinces that... Oh, those are going to be all over here if we look. Yep, right over here. Those are areas that were newly conquered in Crusader Kings 2 that never got around to doing. So, right now our missionaries aren't very strong, but that's okay. Our military is huge still. I, I got rid of over, like, 120, I would say, regiments, and it's still huge. So, let's uh, start merging some of this stuff together. This is my capital, right? Where is my... Uh, is that my capital? Is Rome my capital right now? No, it's not, is it? How do you tell where your capital is? Uh, go to... There's a... Is it? I know there's a button for it. Oh, it is. Oh, no, it's right here. Lombardia. Lombardia, right here. That is so weird. Why is that? Is it just because it's, like, geographically near the center? I really have the foggiest idea why that and not Rome. Because I want Rome to be my goddamn capital. I will fix that. We'll fi I, we're, like, 15 minutes in, and I haven't even unpaused the game yet. Jesus Christ, and my ships. You seen these things? All right, well, we're going to fight up here, so let's, let's get some of these guys together. You guys are going to fight up here. I know you're going to. All right, let's unpause the game, finally. Uh, we have one, one, one regiment up there. All right, everybody's moving around now. Man, I feel like this is, I feel like this is going to be really interesting, especially when I get over here. Because when I started uh, the, the game up, I made sure not to even pan over this way because I didn't want to see what was over there. I wanted to see what was there, you know, for the first time. A oh, Greek revolt. Okay. Let us try to negotiate. Um, let's just fight them. They're Greeks. Papal state. The deep devotion in the Roman Catholic Church to a desired independent state ruled by the Pope and the Church. A large part of the population expressed support of the idea. Such an establishment is now turn to, that's me, Adelmo II. We, we never support such a state. Lose prestige, lose stability. All those states would hate me. Rome is rightfully theirs. No. Stability drop already. Okay, so already got some, some rebels to fight. Not a big deal, though. We, we do what we should look at, though. Let's see. Trade map mode. Oh, I gotta do something with my merchants. You know that? It's religion. Or no, that's that. Diplomatic. What do I want to see? Let's pause this, actually. I was... What did I wanted to see? Accepted culture. Culture map mode. Okay. So, uh, I was doing a very... I was, I was making a concerted effort to make Italian very prominent in the world in Crusader Kings 2. And you can see Italian culture is everywhere. But Greek is still is still big. So, uh, I, and there's a lot of different cultures in my in my empire. So, I'm thinking instead of, uh, you know, I might go with, you know, humanism instead of forcing everybody to, 
you know, bend to my whim, I can make everybody like me by being nice to them. That's not usually my style. Being, being nice to people is not my style. Is transferring power to Genoa... Why are we transferring trade power? I feel like I, sh I could make so much more money just collecting it. Well, well, let's see. Sort by value. I control 100% of it. Just send them there. Um, collect from trade. Yes. Let, 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 let's give it a, a, a couple couple ticks and see what happens. Because that should be super high. I control 100%. Zero? Really? It says zero. I collect nothing? Eleven point six, really? I felt I, I felt like it would be a lot higher than that. All right, I I have never had a terribly good uh, understanding of trade in this game. All I know a few things. I don't know many things. I just know a few. All right, Highlands across a river. Let's uh, roll the die. Put someone in charge. Let's see how they do. So I guess that wasn't the greatest idea. Um, go to. Well, my home... This is my home node, right? Genoa? Where's my trade port? Is... Province, important center of trade. So, I feel like the best thing to do would just be transfer, you know, transfer the trade power while everything's flowing. Hmm. God, I am terrible at this. Where is my home port? Is this my home port? No. I don't even remember how to find it. Main trading port. Here's where you collect your trade. Okay, so it's just my capital. And we lost. Oh, you know why we lost? <laughs> I forgot about that. Alright, never mind. Not a big deal. Wow, how far are they going to retreat? Okay, they're only going to retreat to Damascus. That's not too far. Alrighty, what was I talking about doing? Um, boo -boo 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 -boo. Military access? No, we're not going to grant you any military access. We were messing with trade, and if I wanted to move my main trade port, like, right there, that seems like it would be the best thing to do, because right now, well, Venice is where my, tr my main trade area is. That's my home area. So if I transfer trade power to Venice, that would be the best thing, I believe. So right now, he's transferring it... No, he's transferring right here. If this was my trade, my main trade port. Oh, so, so right here, trade power of 31. And over here, we have... Yeah, I feel like it should move over here. And we transfer all the trade power up there. That's how I feel we should do that. All right. All right, we had a very inauspicious start by losing our first battle. That was my own damn fault, though. I have a new heir who's not very good. Poland declared war on Sweden. Now, what do we got working here? That is 135 light ships. So, this fleet will add... They basically make no difference in a lot of these places. Sort by income.
So the best place to do it is, is transferring trade power upstream. Hmm. God, I'm terrible at this stuff. Sort by income, sort by trade power. Let's see. The highest income is Venice, but uh, we're not gonna. It's not gonna make any difference here. That would be a big difference. That's a diff decent difference over there. So we send those guys there, and then you guys to Alexandria, and then you guys to the Baltic Sea, and you guys to the North Sea. Man, that's a lot of ships. Jesus Christ. All right. Hey, we already got some poor. We're first in the world still. I damn well better be first on the fucking planet. All right. So let's grab these guys. Take out these Greeks. Support for the Florentine school. Because of our relative nobility, portion of support in the Italian art of the Florentine school. Being perceived as patron of internal art will... International art will probably... Okay, of course. Have our support. Yearly prestige goes up. Lose admin power, diplomatic power, and a ton of money. Or lose five... Lose fucking five prestige. I don't care. Gain the prestige back really quick. Well, mm, well, I'm losing it right now. I'll gain it back quickly enough, though. And we're losing troops. All right. Now, I don't even think about this. These areas are going to be really shitty. All right. There we go. Supply limit of 20. Send you there. Supply limit of 11. Uh, coastline would probably be, be better. Right now, it's going to be hard supporting these massive armies because pretty low, you know, you know, they don't, they don't, oh, who's, hang on, I'm really, whoa, 90 heavy ships, and 30 transports, Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah, see, look at that, uh, so let's merge, and then split in half, and go like this, and then we're gonna merge these guys together, split you in half, shamed all those cool names went away, but I'm not gonna have, you know, four regiments sitting around all over the place, uh, split in half, like that, just so we're not taking continu continual losses for no reason. And... Yes. Get it, get it up to zero, at least. Alright, these Greeks, they're gonna need to go. Now that we actually have my morale up to appropriate level. That's what happened last time, we just lost my morale. Uh, Cosmopolitan Revolt. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fine, just do that. I don't feel like crushing revolts all over the Empire. Influenza, quarantine the port, definitely. There we go. University to the admin, yes. Or, yeah, admin power. Power points. Power points are, imp are important. All right, you guys head down this way. Alrighty, we're doing good. I, I'm really enjoying this. This is pretty cool. I declared war on their new enemy. Not a big deal. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna try to conquer the goddamn world. That's what I'm gonna do. So Denmark, Poland, Ruthenia, Russia, the Idrisids. Definitely gonna push into India. I think that's gonna be interesting. Definitely gonna make for some interesting gameplay. Like Bohemia, let, let, like let's let, let's talk to Bohemia. Oh, we have no Cossus Ballet on them. Uh, again, to the admin. So I guess what we'll have to do is do it the hard way. So we can covert, fabricate claim. There we go. Oh, we lost our our admin dude. Stability cost modifier. That's what we got to work with left. Okay. Oh, and what we also can do is drag the slider down a little bit again. Just so we're not wasting that money. Okay. Shai, do you think I should focus on anything right now? Admin, maybe? We could focus on admin. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's focus on admin right now. Alright, I was going to do something else, and now I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. Create an army for our nation. What? Ugh, come on. Uh, okay, improve relations with the lower Volga. Where is that? Over here. Alliance with Bohemia. I wonder if these guys would be willing to actually just subjugate themselves to me. Alright, a, a rumor. Zawarti who? 
Discontent with the behavior of our troops in the region, peasants of Frisia have taken up arms against us, joined by mercenary soldiers. These revolters had a limited success on land, have already concluded the surprise maneuver at sea. Indeed, the revolters, such pirates. Oh, god damn it. So, uh, another, another revolt. So I feel like this might be a um, common theme with such a large empire. But hopefully having massive quantities of troops means that it will be easy to take care of. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, we have to like each other. So, yeah, I could just, I could, I could vassalize a lot of these people really easily. An alliance. Accept. Royal marriage. Accept. And invest in new technology. Definitely. Boom. All right, now Bohemia we were looking at. So let's improve relations here. Uh, not uh, relations. There we go. Improve relations. Send. We can cancel this. We're not going to do that. Uh, Poland. Why don't we try that as well? Well, as soon as our diplomat gets back. Oh no! Don't don't insult them. Send that over. All right, there we go. So we're just going to wait for the the uh, morale to get back up there, and then we'll take out that other rebellious group. I feel like that's going to be definitely going to be a common thread. Is rebellions. I also feel like I'm going to need more troops to fight the Idrissids. Sure. Well, all the... Some of these smaller states, I feel like it's going to definitely be easier to just vassalize them and then absorb them into the nation. And march right up here. Take these guys out. Easy as can be. There we go. I'll oh, we'll just leave you there for now. We need a mission. Prove relations with Lower Volga, create an army for our nation. I feel that's a little ridiculous. So let's, um... I have no idea who this is. Oh, they're up here. Oh, okay. Okay, they're up there. That's what that is. And all this is all... It's all Catholic right now. It's kind of awesome. It's going to make things uh, easier in the long run, definitely. Now, I wanted my capital to be Rome. Now, to do that, I'm going to need to go here. I need 200 admin. Hmm. I definitely think I should move my trade port from Venice to Genoa. Tensions between the nobles and the clergy. The Papal State's opinion of the Roman Empire changed by negative 100. Jesus lived among beggars and fishermen. Why don't you? Ah, God. I don't care what the Pope thinks of me. Claire, Statue of Restraint of Appeals. Okay. So this would make me uh, Catholic, gain reform desire, gain some prestige. Everybody hates me if I do this. Uh, Roman Empire until the end of the game. National unrest down. Stability cost modifier down. Yearly prestige up. Yearly papal influence down. I don't care what the Pope thinks. I'm ruler of the world. There we go. Definitely to the admin, and we got a little bit more military right now, and there's that. And we can actually, at the end of this episode, get our first idea group, which is going to be very important. What I was thinking about doing is getting, grabbing this religious unity, religious. Uh, now, now I'm uh, now I'm like hedging my accepted culture threshold is going to be could be important, definitely. Tolerance of heathens, but I'm the Roman Empire. I mean. It's all about, you know, crushing those beneath me. <laughs> oh god. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this decision till till the next episode. Uh so if you've enjoyed this everybody, just drop me a like, leave any comments you have right down below, and if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4 as the Roman Empire, just subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.